Hello friends, welcome to our channel retailconnect.com. Uh, in this session, we will discuss some practice questions asked in interview. Okay, so these are the tricky questions which were asked by interviewers. Okay, for JavaScript. Okay, so we will start with some question. Question one. Okay, so this is the question one. Okay, here we have a function. Okay, and inside function we have set timeout. Okay, for three second, and we have console log x and console log y, and uh, x is two here, which is a where, okay, and y is twelve, which is a let, and now after that we have called this function. So what will be the output for x and y in console after three second? Okay. So the guess, guess your answer. We will show you the output. Okay. So you can see you are getting two as x and twelve as okay y. So this is a very simple question which we asked. Okay. So just to confuse you, you between bad and let and with time out. Okay. Okay. Now we will. Go for the second question, okay? And the second question is, okay. So you have a function, and there is a for loop, i equal to zero, i less than three, i plus plus, okay? And uh, we have set timeout with console log i after two second. So what will be the output in console? Okay. So see the answer. It is three, three, three. Okay. That means this console after after inside the side timeout will be the use the last one of the i. Means I will run up to. I equal to zero, then one, then two, okay, and then it will be three. If I will three, then it will not executed. Okay, that means I will stop with three. Okay, up to three. That means uh, the last value of I will be three. So it is using the same. Okay, set set timeout. Okay. So now the question is. How can you achieve uh, one, two, three here? Means uh, like zero, one, two, because we are starting with zero. So zero, one, two. How can you achieve that? For that, you have to use here let. Okay. So now you can see you are getting your exact output. Okay. Zero, one, two, because let have a blocked scope. Okay. It doesn't match with the global scope like where, okay. Or if you are using the where, then you have to be with another solution like you have to create your if scope here. Like this, and then after you have to pass your i here, and you will have to pass your i here. And inside this, you have to keep your set timeout. Okay, so this is the help of if you okay, and uh, you have two options: either use let or if you. So if you is basically um, used with ES5 versions as well, but let is only be used with your ES6 version. Okay. So with uh, means earlier of uh, ES6 version, this was the only method with the help of which we can achieve that one. Okay. So this was the second question. Now we will come for the third question. Okay. So you can see letter in output. Okay, 
first one you can see first one is set time out inside a if you immediate in booking concern okay concern. so first one is set time out okay console log one after two second second one is console log two third one is set time out with zero millisecond and fourth one is normal console log so set time out will we have delay so it will print at later so first one it will be executed okay then after four two four then three and then one two four three one okay so now we will come for the another type of questions okay here we have an x okay and we have an y with name and z with name john okay what we have did we have used the x and we have used the y h key here and we set this value inside x similarly in x we have used the z h key and we have inserted this value inside this now x will have both one y and z okay now what will be the output if you will want to get with x and y okay so what will be the output so you can see the output is a key that is of z why this happening this happening because a json object means an object to use only a string key or symbols okay so it this y and z will have a common symbol or you can say key okay that is object object okay you can see by consoling the x here you can see this is the key that means this object object is same for all x and y that means if you will use this one then it will overwrite with this value of y here okay okay now come to the another question okay so here you can see we have a function here we are consoling string one plus numeric one so what will be the output okay and here you can see string minus one then you have two plus minus two as a string and then two what will be the output then we have hello minus world plus 78 and this is the string okay so as per me this will be your 11 and this will be your not a number and this will again will have output in a string like 2 minus 2 2 this will again n n of the number and uh, this will be your hello 78 first one is 11 second one is null okay it is null okay not a number will not be here okay so it is also null and this is hello 78 okay that means it if you are using the plus sign okay then it will combine with the string if you will use negative sign then it will throw error so that's why you are getting okay if you have what will happen if you will have one minus a then again you will be getting null so i was wrong with that so it will be null okay now this will be the we have a string 
again this will be a minus here so that means it will give you null okay and here it is plus so both will be the string if it is will be a number as well then also it will be the same output okay okay so in this session we were discussing up to this in next part we will discuss on more questions so like this video and the subscriber channel and uh, see the next video okay thank you for watching